Welcome to another tutorial uh, for FV5 beta. This tutorial, tutorial we will uh, go through app connection groups which is uh, to enable two applications to talk to each other. Uh, what I mean is, uh, I've drawn a small picture here. If you have an application here named App1 which is uh, virtualized and another called App2 uh, in regular situations you ca can't talk to the uh, applications or the app does cannot talk to the app too. Uh, when, what you need to do is uh, to create an uh, app connection group and then you let's see here then you can create this bubble around these applications and then they can talk to each other. Uh, I have here uh, the old one here for 4.6 it was called Microsoft Application Virtualiza Virtualization Dynamic Suite Composition Tool that's a long name uh, if you have uh, two applications here uh, for instance you're, uh, uh, you're using Office 2010 and a third party tool which uh, interacts with the Office or Outlook. You can uh, use this tool to create create this bubble around this uh, uh, for the for the SOAPNI here to talk to the Office. Uh, what it does, it basically creates a new OSD file. Um, you can just take a look at inside inside that here and it creates a dependency for the SFT file which is the uh, the virtualized uh, environment for the uh, or the files for the SOAPNI add-on in AppV5 beta they simplified this process uh, quite a lot so let's take a look at the AppV server. Uh, I've already created Office applications here, um, but if you want to, I can show you this uh, how it's done. Let's just add the connection group, name it, um, Add the packages. Click on apply. Close. Set the uh, group that uh, is allowed to get access to this uh, connection group and publish it. Um, when you've done that, then on the client we will see this connection group um, and you will be able to uh, run applications uh, and allow, allow them to speak to each other or talk to each other some way okay I've already created this uh, package here and let's check on the client uh, we can see there are two connections groups um, if you take a look at we see the office application and the SOAPNI add-on so they are two Im individual packages here so you can't see that the SOAPNI uh, is in this package here so they're running in uh, their their own virtualized environments, but we have in the, in, the, in this instance create a bubble around this two application share. Uh, I've already run the uh, Outlook here, and as you see, can see, that SOAPNI is running on 
on the uh, outlook here and we can do a lot, a lot of things here so go to the let's check the inspector let's open the inspector It's a report here, and we can see Outlook 2010 service back something, and it finds finds the office that it, it's installed. But let's let's remove the this uh, package here. So we have deleted the connection group. Let's see what happens. Uh, there is a possibility that it takes a few minutes to to sync here. There are in some insta instances that it takes a quite a lot of time. So even though we have deleted the connection group it still ex exists here I don't know why it's so slow but maybe I have to report or reboot the machine or something like that so I'm just gonna do that um, just hang on a moment okay the connection group is gone uh, it took two restarts and some synchronization that to complete this. Um, I absolutely have no idea, idea why it, this takes so long time. So let's start the Outlook 2010 and let's start also the soap me diagnostics and there is no tab here called soap me and it's basically has been disappeared from the outlook so let's check this and error could determine determine outlook version info nothing found in registry so the soap me add-on does not find the outlook anywhere so because it's individual packages they can't talk to each other unless they are in connection groups there is another way to view uh, what applications are in uh, connection groups go to packages and on the uh, right side uh, in the box called connection groups there is a list of here what uh, connection groups uh, the application is assigned to so A few here. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit extra. I'm done with the 
con app connection groups. Uh, hopefully you understand it now. Uh, if you are in the uh, deploying office uh, on clients, virtual uh, virtualized office uh, on clients, I have created uh, a small application to help uh, admins to create uh, the license uh, for the for the virtualized uh, office. It's called uh, Offert Flag Generator, and you can select the office uh, bits and uh, the product name. You can choose the uh, licensing. So we type in something here. Um, there are some hints and explanations over the over the boxes here. Uh, and we can generate the uh, parameters what you need uh, to use to to add the license for the for the uh, virtualized office if you're using uh, proxies such as adding connections to SharePoint through uh, Internet Explorer uh, on uh, Office 2010, the 64-bit version is not supported, uh, so we need to choose the choose the 32-bit, and we uh, put the information here, and it will create the parameters that you need to used to uh, add the proxy for the office application. You can download this uh, on my website or on my blog which is appvit.blogspot.com and on the right side here is the uh, skydive uh, skydrive downloads and you can click here and it would lead you to the the zip file this is free so anyone can use this okay thanks for watching uh, see you next time Bye-bye.